you will not be able to make a diagnosis of perimenopause or menopausal depression based on the standard estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and sex hormone binding globulin levels. And that's a problem because then what happens is that invalidates the woman's observation. She's often said, I think it's my hormones. I really think there's something different going on that I'm in this position of being depressed. And then when the doctor gets the lab test results back, often the comment is, no, it's all fine, nothing to see here. Now, the difficulty is that is a peripheral blood sample, all we're going to measure there is the body general hormone levels. What we're talking about and where the depression is coming from is the small changes that are occurring in the CNS. So unless you can actually sample in the brain or use a PET scanner with particular ligand to look at the uptake of estrogen and the downtake of estrogen in various receptors, we're not going to be able to see the changes in the brain from the peripheral sample.